Hey everybody. Hey, I'm going to continue today with the uh, the third of the beers in the uh, 2012 uh, Sierra Nevada Beer Camp. I'm going to do their Imperial Pilsner. A um, little bit off the bottle. Again, nothing from the website. Uh, produced especially for the OBF. Beer Camp's golden color and medium bodied sweetness comes from pale Euro peels and Munich and acidulated malts. Magnum Crystal and Pacifica hops provide a distinctly American bittering and hop flavor profile without going over the top. Result is a refreshing, balanced, crisp Pilsner. Easy to drink on a hot summer day. About 92 degrees here today, so good day for it. Or it says, or to take you with you to beer camp. Now, I don't know why they're calling it Imperial. Comes in at 5.6% ABV. But uh, anyway, let me get this in a glass. Uh, like the other the other two, I've already had one bottle of this, so I've got an initial opinion. So let me get it into my pseudo pilsner glass here. And see what we got. Okay, we got a nice crystal clear golden straw color. Maybe a not quite a three fingers of a really nice uh, fluffy white head uh, decent amount of carbonation streaming up um, probably going to keep that head generated for a while so we get a nose on this and see what we got okay it's a fairly typical Pilsner nose you get your barley and your hops a little bit of sweetness a little bit of maltiness um, Maybe a little uh, lemon, lemon zest, possibly some grapefruit. Um, you get that pale malt aroma. Aroma. There might be some pine, a little bit of yeast. Um, I mean, it's it's a pilsner. It's a little spicy, a little floral, a little doughy. Um, that's pretty much it. So let me give it a taste. Now, it tastes like a pretty decent Pilsner. It's um, it, not one of my favorite styles, um, I have to admit, but um, for Pilsner, it's not too bad. It's got a, it's got a, that almost a saltine cracker-like malt, um, little spicy hops up front. Um, citrus that I got in the nose is, um, is there in the taste, um, about mid-palate. Um, a little bit almost like a little uh, fresh cut grass in the finish it's um again like the like the uh like the nose though it's kind of grainy and doughy and and spicy with um got some nice light um creamy malt fly flavors um really crisp dry finish floral almost almost bitter somewhat bitter Might even be a little pine in this. Um, I'm getting that, uh, getting that in the middle of the palate too. So um, it seems to be like a, maybe that's where the imperial comes from. It seems like a medium body, a little heavier body than you get in a, in the usual pilsner. But um, the carbonation uh, thins it down a little bit. All the car carbonation does seem to be uh, receding a bit. So let me sit, sip on this a while. I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and great. Oh, I came back. It hasn't been that long. I really didn't want to let this warm up. This is one you want to drink cooler. Um, overall, it's a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent Pilsner. Um, really nice uh, take on it from Sierra Nevada. It's a little, little more citrusy than you get in your uh, uh, normal, uh, normal European uh, Pilsners, but. Uh, Still a really nice take on it. It it has less surprisingly has less some nice uh, nice lacing down the glass. Uh, it's a light lacing, but it is lacing. Um, it's uh, a little more citrus, like I said, a little more citrusy than you get in the uh, in the European pilsners. Uh, but it's still got those nice uh, floral grassy notes that uh, that you're used to in, in a good in a good European pilsner. And uh, like I said uh, before. Uh, Pilsner's are not one of my favorite styles, but for, for a Pilsner, this is pretty darn good. Um, so I'm, it's a little heavier than in, in the body and the mouthfeel than, uh, 
that I'm used to. They're usually a little more, little lighter, but it's still, still darn good. Uh, still refreshing. Nice clean finish. Just a decent pilsner. I'm going to give this uh, Sierra Nevada. This is Beer Camp number 43, Imperial Pilsner. There's a label. I'm going to give it 8.5 out of 10. Um, decent, solid beer. Um, like I said on the other reviews, uh, if you see the Beer Camp 12-pack uh, sampler, go ahead and pick one up. They're a little pricey, but uh, uh, well worth it. And they, only, they only come out once, so if you see it, you better get it. Um, so 8.5 out of 10. Till next time, everybody. Cheers. Keep drinking good beer.